Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel or back to the channel. I go by the trail name Jellybean, and I live in this 2008 Kia Sorento that I built to live and travel out of. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. We are in the eastern half of Oregon. Um, it got down to 23 degrees last night. It's currently only 26 degrees. The bean pod got down to 50 degrees. Um, it was actually too warm. I slept in the sweatshirt. And uh, if I pulled the uh, up over my, all the way to my neck, I ended up too hot. So that you know, was a good thing. I know I don't need a heavy sweatshirt on. But, you know, first night in the new setup with the bean pod being that cold, wanted to check, uh, make sure I, you know, didn't freeze. Uh, I didn't sleep well at all last night again. New spot, a homeless shelter, right, uh, encampment right down the road. Um, I thought about just staying in bed today, just taking a day off, relaxing, trying to get some rest. Um, but I, I don't mind it here, but I don't like it here. Um, I'm up the road from that encampment, maybe, I don't know, three miles, maybe. I, not real sure. Um, there is another little encampment, but they, uh, a little better off. One of them is, uh, well, they're both like fifth wheels. Uh, that have just been left there, I think, and then add kind of added on, you know what I mean? Um, tarps and stuff. Um, they're just down the hill from me. Um, I could see their fire last night. I could hear some noise, some music. Um, don't don't even know if they know I'm up here. But I'm also very close. I I'm close to the road, which I like because it's mud. Uh, the homeless encampment, trying to pull through there, I was, it was rough. It was, I mean, it's bad mud. So I'm glad I'm close to the road that, you know, if it starts getting muddy, I could probably get out. And it's basically downhill, so I'd be all right. But there's quite a bit of road noise for this, this road. I'm kind of real surprised. So I tell you what, I'm going to finish getting dressed or get dressed. Uh, brush my teeth and do all those good things and then I'll show you around I mean there's like drug paraphernalia all over the ground garbage things like that so let me get up and uh, we'll take a look and then maybe we'll go explore all right so if you look out this way you know it's pretty all this volcanic uh, rock here and you know not bad but then you start looking at the ground Drug paraphernalia, garbage, lots more garbage, 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 all kinds of drug paraphernalia, broken bottles, clothes, water bottles ripped up. Yeah. This is uh, the Deschutes National Forest, I think is how you say it. And this is the clean spot. Yeah, where the encampment is, I mean, it's like they just put bags of trash on the ground. If, if it's even in bags, it's all over the place. It looks like a dump. Um, got the bean pod warming up because uh, I took the window coverings out, not because I've turned her on yet. But that transmission was really making noise in that mud too, so I would like... I see a, a repair shop that looks kind of empty. Um, I'm going to pull it in, see if they can take a look for me. Again, this phone uh, sucks like no tomorrow. I talked to a girl uh, well, on the way traveling up through California. I can't remember what city. Um, they couldn't figure out you know, why the mic stays on and disconnects from the Bluetooth. And I know that's what's going on, though. The microphone disconnects from the Bluetooth and it like mum mumbles the mic on the phone. So I'm not next to the phone. 
it's not taking it from the earpiece and it doesn't listen to it well in the phone anyways it's you know like i said it's a piece of garbage actually this is a pretty decent spot right here away from the trash i'd get solar it's actually like a turnout but i got uh a little more privacy right here well something to think about like i said yeah i, I would definitely get solar on right here uh where am i at? i'm not going to get anything so anyways as i was saying i may uh i didn't bring the tripod tripod with me sorry didn't plan on doing a walk but i may go get the new phone um I'm thinking about selling off my investment today. Then it has to be processed, and then if I can uh, cave there, something could live. Um, uh, it has to get processed before then I can take a withdrawal. And I got to do all that stuff before I uh, get the new phone. Because I didn't think I was going to get it done on this one. And then luckily, somehow it went through. Um, with the two form authentication, it would not download, it would not open back up to this phone. Uh, finally, it was hours later, I got to work by the miracle. Here comes a uh, couple hundred thousand dollars sprinter. He's go he's going to be looking. What the heck am I getting into? <laughs> the old pile of garbage there on it near the road. bags along the side of the road I don't know how well you can see all the you see the trailers probably better than anything but then you got these poor folk their property starts right next door all right let's head in into town So I definitely understand why Wally World is no longer, uh, you can't park here. Uh, there is a camper here. Uh, the, obviously they didn't bother. Um, kind of a nice one. They probably let him slide, you know, but homemade rigs, they would probably definitely kick right out. Uh, I did see along, uh, like an apartment area, uh, multiple uh, cars, rigs. I mean steps outside I mean so it's obvious that they're camping there um, so I don't know we'll we'll see what else we can find but uh, I think what I may do is I have a better idea for a um, heating system for the bean pod it consists of basically a flower pot and the uh, the drainage portion uh, terracotta you put a candle inside there it heats the terracotta and acts as a uh, a heater, and it still emits about the same amount of heat that my uh, um, Mr. Heater, Buddy Heater, would uh, admit. Some interesting characters walk in the parking lot. Let me tell you. So I'm gonna go in. If I can find some uh, really cheap candles, that way I don't have to worry about discarding the uh, one prom propane tanks or hooking up the big tank with the 12 foot hose um i almost think about doing that just to get rid of that smaller one i mean i 
spent $85 on the small uh, five gallon, no, five, five pound, the smaller one, I think it's five pound, five pound, one and a half gallon, five pound, um, just to get rid of that one. All right, let's go into Wally World and see what we're looking at today. All right, so I found a uh, better spot. Uh, it's BLM land, uh, ways from town, uh, nice little road, get in and out. And uh, yeah, I think this is a nice little place to stay for a little while. Uh, for all you people with my volume issues, uh, I'm getting a new phone. Uh, I gotta order it, gonna be here who knows when. But, so I've got a project that I'm going to, well, it's basically already done. But uh, let me show you what I'm working with. All right, so <clears throat> the Mr. Buddy, if I put it on low, it'll burn me out of that, out of the bean pot in two minutes flat. With just the pilot on, okay, last night it got down to 23 degrees. The bead pot only fell to 50. That's fine. Um, but this, had, this vehicle had a lot of residual heat coming from California yesterday. Um, six gallons of water. We're at probably 75 degrees. That's a big box of, you know, radiant heat to stay inside. Everything in there was 75, 80 degrees. Today, most of it's 50. Maybe 60 by now with you know with the warming up, but just your regular old potted plant thing thingamajigger. So what I'm going to do is manufacture here if I can a little bowl for the candle. Make that a little bigger, I think. I want it small enough that it's going to kind of contain the wax in one area while still allowing room around it. Yeah. This may be a uh, several adventure try, but what happens is the candle sits inside of the upside down pot, heats the terracotta. On the Mr. Buddy, all you have is the pilot going straight up. There really isn't any radiant heat coming when it's just on the pilot. Now, this whole setup, four candles, and the pot and the base, six, seven dollars fifty, eight dollars fifty, something like that. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is um, the wax as it burns into the car. So, what I'm hoping is that most of that stays on the inside of that. So, you've got the candle. In its little bowl, you light it, you put this on top of here, and in all intensive purposes, this thing should just be a nice warm heater. You still have the uh, pilot type effect coming out the chimney out of the bottom of the terracotta pot. So I'm going to go ahead and light one of these and let it go in the bean pod and see what see what happens uh, see how long it burns see if it gets smoky um, if it's a piece of garbage i only spent eight eight fifty you know no big deal um, and i can give the the flower pot away to somebody so i'm going to go ahead and light this thing and set it in the bean pod and just see how long it goes and what happens guys
So like I said, I think we found a good spot. Um, my tranny is messing up a little more after it was slipping in the mud last night. So I really want to go get that checked out tomorrow. And I have to order the phone tomorrow. I have to I had to make sure I could get a case and all that kind of good stuff. So, all right, for right now, I'm going to go light this, put it in the car. And, well, put it in the car first, light it, with, and uh, see what happens. So we will let you guys get on what's going on. Well, right now, the terracotta pot heater that I've come up with feels pretty darn warm <clears throat> excuse me warm um, I wish I could have found a little votive holder you know like a little glass shot cup you know what I mean that would hold it and I bet that thing would last all night long but maybe uh, we'll see what happens if it feels warm all night We'll, we'll go try to find one, but uh, Walmart didn't have any today to hold it. But it's the uh, terracotta is really warm. So I think I'm going to set up the Mr. Buddy next to the tea pot heater. TP heater? That's what we call it. And just see what happens. I. Uh, made another little foil bowl for a second candle see what happens trial and error guys all we can do but uh man i think i'm gonna sleep really well tonight and tomorrow we have some other things to do gonna go ahead and order that phone uh didn't order it today because i was worried about a waterproof case for that phone but I think I'm gonna go with the uh, s24 ultra uh, this one's the s21 ultra so it's only a few bucks more a month extra so that's what we're gonna get but we're gonna go back to town tomorrow and again maybe try to find a place to uh, check out what's going on with the tranny but right now, I'm still just editing videos, and I'm going to try to start up putting a little few more. Because, I don't know, I think I have more to offer. Probably not. But, you know, I've obviously they're out a week, or it all depends what's going on. So, for right now, I'm just going to hang out. We're going to see how long that uh, candle goes. And we'll talk to you when I go back in the pod. Well, everybody, beautiful day, but it's cold. Um, I'm getting ready to go in the bean pod and basically go to sleep. A couple days of no sleep, a lot of traveling. I'm tired, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a great sleep tonight. If any of my subscribers or people that watch this channel, whatever, have any clue how to get a driver's license in Oregon as a nomad, please uh, hit me up. So, right now, I'm tired. So you guys have a great evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Thank you for watching, subscribing, commenting, sharing, all those good things. And we'll see you next time on Jellybean Outdoors.